Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick at Holy Shepherd Lutheran Church in Hazlitt, Texas. It is time for our daily devotion. Uh, today is Monday. It's December the 4th, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different for the season of Advent. We're going to jump to the Old Testament readings. Now, not all of them are going to correspond to Advent type of readings, but we've been doing the New Testament for uh, for the last three years now, ever since we started the daily devotions. And I think it's time that uh, maybe we we move into, into the Old Testament and talk about some of the theology there. So we are in Isaiah chapter 10, and we're going to start at verse 12. When the Lord had finished all his work against Mount Zion and Jerusalem, he will say, I will punish the king of Assyria for the willful pride of his heart and the haughty look in his eyes. For he says... By the strength of my hand, I have done this. And by my wisdom, because I have understanding, I remove the boundaries of nations. I plunder their treasures. Like a mighty one, I subdue their kings. As one reaches into a nest, so my hand reach for the wealth of the nations. As men gather abandoned eggs, so I gather all the countries. Not one flapped a wing or opened its mouth to chirp. Does the axe raise itself above him who swings it, or the saw boast against him who uses it? As if a rod were to wield him who lifts it up, or a club brandish him who is not wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord Almighty, will send a wasting disease upon his sturdy warriors. Under his pomp a fire will be kindled like a blazing flame. The light of Israel will become a fire, their holy one a flame. In a single day it will burn and consume his thorns and his briars, the splendor of his forests and fertile fields. It will completely destroy, as when a sick man wastes away. And the remaining trees of his forest will be so few that a child could write them down. In that day, the remnant of Israel, the survivors of the house of Jacob, will no longer rely on him who struck them down but will truly rely on the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. A remnant will return, a remnant of Jacob will return to the mighty God. Though your people, O Israel, be like the sand of the sea, only a remnant will return. Destruction has been decreed, overwhelming and righteous. The Lord, the Lord Almighty, will carry out the destruction decreed upon the whole land. Therefore, this is what the Lord, the Lord Almighty, says. O my people, who live in Zion, do not be afraid of the Assyrians who beat you with a, with a rod and lift up a club against you as Egypt did. Very soon, my anger against you will end and my wrath will be directed towards their destruction. The Lord Almighty will lash them with a whip as when he struck down Midian at the rock of Oreb and he will raise his staff over waters as he did in Egypt. In that day, their burden will be lifted from your shoulders, their yoke from your neck, the yoke will be broken because you have grown so fat. All right, so we finished there. Uh, so just to reacquaint you with some biblical history, Assyria was an empire in the, in the Middle East that was raised up to uh, be God's um, instrument of punishment or judgment against his people Israel. Now, they, you know, God apparently used them to be an instrument uh, against other nations as well, because God does have this prerogative. He has the prerogative to uh, render judgments um, that bring about the end of civilizations or of peoples. Um, and, and it's, you know, life and death is always in his hands. And, and he is always the one who has the right to make that decision. And so uh, the Israelites were, you know, they were divided up into to two different uh, sections. We'll call it the northern section and the southern section. So the northern section included um, the northern ten tribes, and the southern section included the southern two tribes. And each of them fell to different empires at different times. So uh, the uh, Assyrian Empire conquered the northern ten tribes uh, in 722 BC, the 8th century. And, uh, you know, they moved through the northern uh, kingdom, and they got to the doorstep of the southern kingdom. And uh, the southern kingdom was going to be next, but they uh, 
they repented, and so God relented, and, uh, you know, God's anger then turned upon the Assyrians. Now, Isaiah quotes the Assyrian boasting today um, that the Assyrians did all of these things, and they think that they did them by their own hands, and God's response to that is, no, I'm the one who raised you up. I'm the one who who used you. Uh, you know, the axe, uh, the axe is not above the one who wields it, as, uh, as Isaiah says today, meaning God is the one wielding the axe. It's not the axe who is, uh, that is wielding itself. And so that's the, the analogy that God uses. And um, he also says, though, that uh, his anger that's being directed towards his people, that's being carried out by the Assyrian Empire, will not, be, uh, will not continue that God is uh, now going to turn or soon going to turn his anger from his people to uh, the Assyrian Empire itself because it has grown prideful, it has grown boastful, and so now um, it is going to be in the crosshairs of God's uh, God's judgment too. God's going to send us a disease, and we do know from the scriptures that, uh, you know, seemingly the night before they were going to come into southern Israel, um, I think it says 180,000 soldiers of the Assyrian Empire fell and died. Uh, it was very sudden. And then uh, the Assyrian king was not able, with the remaining forces that he had left, to move against the southern kingdom. So, God, uh, God does carry out his judgments, just as he says, and he also does carry out his grace. Um, that, that he is forgiving, that uh, when we repent, uh, as we seek him, um, not because we seek him, but, but as we seek him, he forgives sins, and, and he wants to be gracious to us. He wants to pour out his mercies upon us, and there's many parts of Scripture that talk about that. Um, you know, because the, the covenant that Israel had with God was life and death. Um, keep this covenant, you will live. Break this covenant, turn to other gods, and then you run the risk of, of God's judgment. Uh, but he would rather be the God of mercy. He would rather be the God of love and we seek him on these grounds in word and sacrament today as well. All right, let's continue as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you, give you his peace. Amen. Okay, announcements for today. So thanks to all who attended the uh, Lutheranism during the Third Reich Bible study yesterday. I, I think I had three times the attendance or more um, than we usually get in Sunday morning Bible study. So that's a great start. Um, the, the study is going to continue to build and it's going to continue to get more interesting. We just covered the introductory segments to it last time, and I'm looking forward to start to get into the meat of things this coming time, and especially um, the week that follows. So um, please keep coming. I just posted a Zoom link recording to this on YouTube, and then put that up on our Facebook page. So you can check that out if you would like to watch, um, if, you were, if you weren't able to attend and you want to catch up on this past Sunday's lesson. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, Claire is under the weather this week, and so I'm not sure about the status of youth group, but um, she will touch base with all of you probably late Tuesday, early Wednesday. Uh, this Thursday, we do have uh, Mahjong happening at uh, its time slot of 10 a.m., and then this coming Saturday, we do have the uh, church workday happening at 8 a.m., uh, we really need to clear some leaves and some other, you know, lawn debris so that uh, the, the property will drain effectively and, and just, you know, get everything ready for winter. So if you want to come up, bring a rake. We'd love to have your help and participation. 10.30 a.m. this Saturday, Mary Visaggio is also doing a special grief share about surviving the holidays. And then um, don't forget, all this week we are collecting items for Safe Haven um, for Christmas gifts. And so check out the email newsletter to see uh, everything that's in there for some specificity about what to bring. And then please bring all of these gifts unwrapped that they can be donated to the kids and the women at the Safe Haven Shelter. Um, this coming Wednesday night, uh, we do have midweek Advent services. And 
come at 6 p.m. for the supper or and, and or or at 7 p.m. for evening prayer. We'd love to see you. All right, that's all the announcements I have for today. God bless you. Thank you for watching our devotions. And um, you can check out the Third Reich Bible Study on this same YouTube channel. If you're new to us, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, God's blessings be upon you. Bye-bye.